I call this regular meeting of the North Adams City Council to order for June 25th, 2024. This meeting is being recorded. And will the clerk please take the roll? Blackmer? Here. Bona? Here. Green? Here. Fetch? Here. Mora? Here. Alaska? Here. Shade? Wilkinson? Here. Sapienza? Here. Eight present. Eight present and one not here with us today. Okay, would you please stand for a moment of silence as we remember Donna Putnam, who was a special education aide at Drury High School, and Captain Richard Bush, uh, North Adams PD, retired. And the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we do not have main meeting minutes for the uh, June 11th City Council meeting. Those are still being worked on, and we will be having those. Uh, with those will be ready at the next meeting. And moving right along, uh, this is a hearing of visitors on the agenda. This is an opportunity for the public to speak for the council for two minutes regarding items listed on the agenda. As a reminder, I will tap the gavel when you have reached your two-minute limit to signal that your time has ended. And as a courtesy, I also ask that all parties please refrain from any personal attacks. Would anybody like to speak tonight? Okay. Moving right along. Council paper. Number 10,674-8, an ordinance amending the revised zoning map of the North Adams, of North Adams by expanding and extending westerly to Rickard Street, the present B2 zoning district on State Road, so as to rezone all of Assessor's Map 95, Lot 40, as B2 to return to the meeting of June 25th, 2024, with an opinion from the solicitor. As... Uh, can we get a motion? A motion to adopt. Second. Okay, we have a motion to adopt and second. Any discussion? Councillor Breen. Um, I'll abstain from discussion and vote if there is any on this one. Okay. <coughs> Councillor Blackmore. Are you going to read any a reminder? I know we've talked about it, but could you... Reminder, I know there were questions about spot zoning and that's been addressed, but yes. could you remind let me, everybody? Let me re, uh, refresh everybody on that. Uh, we had a meeting with the uh, solicitor, uh, Joel Bard from KP Law, uh, back in May, and it was decided that the zoning of this lot at 935 State Road was not spot zoning. Contract zoning, that was still out for the solicitor to decide. From the best of my knowledge, that contract zoning is not permitted in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So therefore, we have an opinion that this is not spot zoning. And based on that information, we will uh, proceed from there. Council Blackmer. And also, we need a two-thirds vote. OK. Don't we? It's a zoning bylaws, or zoning ordinance, so we need okay. two-thirds. Two-thirds vote, OK. So we need six. We need all six. OK. Any further discussion on this? Councilor uh, Fitch. Yeah, the, um, the tourist representatives had reached out, um, you know, apparently trying to find like another way of doing this as opposed to just changing zoning. And so something <clears throat> that they had proposed in an email recently was um, that we find a way, and this doesn't have to be about this, but they had proposed trying to find a way to enable the zoning board to, for, to permit variance permits um, for lots instead. So just FYI, that's something they had proposed. Right. And I believe that came under the uh, contract zoning, under the guise of contract zoning, okay. where two parties could agree on what is being done on that property. Yeah, so, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. 
Okay, any other further discussion? I'm sorry, clarification. We actually don't, we're gonna pass this, this is gonna be passed to a second reading and published as required. We haven't done Yes, we'll yet. pass to a second reading. So okay, so. The motion? Yes, please. I, mo I move to pass to a second reading and publish as required by law. Second. And we have a motion and a second uh, on the amendment. Do we need to vote on that? Yeah, yes, we do. Yes. Okay. When we vote on yeah, we need to vote, vote on, on the amendment, amendment to uh, pass to a second reading and publish as required by law. So moved. Okay. We have motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. All One right. abstention. One abstention. Yes. Okay. So now we have a motion to pass to a second reading and publish as required by law. As amended. As amended. Yeah. We have so a second. Moved. Okay, motion and a second. We've already had that. All, any discussion on that? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And we have one abstention. Council paper number 11,826, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams regarding various fees established in the City Code, postponed to the meeting of June 25th, 2024. Councilor mm -hmm. Bona? Um, I'm going to make a motion that we file this, and you'll see down a new business. Um, since this was originally put onto the agenda, um, there's been so many changes, so many revisions, um, and it's just going to be easier to file that and just go right to the new one. That is what's in our package tonight. Okay. We have a motion to file. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none. Vote to, uh, to file. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Unanimous. Council paper number 12,191-1, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams, Chapter 15, entitled Litter, Sections 2, 3, 8.1, 8.2, 16, and 25, postponed to the meeting of June 25th, 2024. Um, Blackmore. Move to pass uh, to continue till the first meeting in July, July 8th. We haven't heard back from the solicitor. We both reached out. Both the mayor and I have reached out. Okay. Second. So we have a motion and a second to postpone to the first meeting in July. Do we have any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Council paper number 12,387-1, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams under Chapter 2, Section 20... Oh, no, I skipped one here. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Council paper number 12,191-2, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams by adding a new chapter, 15A, entitled Feeding of Wildlife, postponed to the meeting of June 25th, 2024. Councilor Blackmer? Move to pass, uh, move to continue till the first meeting in July, July 8th, please. Okay, we have a motion to postpone to the first meeting in July. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, Councilor Wilkinson. Any discussion? <laughs> I thought you. No. Oh, okay. I think Pete is a ventral. We look so similar. Yeah. He channeled his voice we're, through your... We're twins. I'm just glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> we do think alike. It, it's got to be something at that table. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have a motion and a second to postpone to the first meeting in July. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Getting old. <laughs> 
Council paper number 12387-1, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams under Chapter 2, Section 27, with the fiscal year 2025 classification plan. Move to adopt. Second. second. <clears throat> Motion to adopt and second. Any discussion? This will be a roll call vote. Blackmer? Yes. Bona? Yes. Rain? Yes. Fitch? Yes. Morrow? Yes. Alaskowitz? Yes. Wayne? Ar Wilkinson? <laughs> All of the above, yes. Sapienza? Yes. Well, I've been called all kinds of things today. <laughs> well, it is your name. It is. It is. <clears throat> they could call you worse. My wife does every day. Okay, guys. No. <coughs> okay. Council paper number 12,387 2, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams under Chapter 2, Section 28, with the fiscal 20. Fiscal year 2025 compensation plan. Move motion. to adopt. Second. Okay, we have a motion to adopt and second. This, any, any discussion? This will be a roll call vote. Blackmer? Yes. Bona? Yes. Green? Yes. Fitch? Yes. Morrow? Yes. Alaska? Yes. Wilkinson? Yes. Sapienza? Yes. Okay. Motion passes. Council paper number 11,826-3, a communication from Councillor Bona regarding the changes for fees and fines and introducing a new ordinance to amend the various fees and fines in city ordinance. I'm going to have Mr. Bona, sure. Councillor Bona speak. Sure. So this may be it. This could be it. Um, the papers that are in front of you tonight uh, have been through committees, department heads, administrations, three, uh, administrative officer, three, uh, city solicitor, uh, general code, uh, the entire council for a few years, uh, the finance committee uh, multiple times, which I think has been probably a total of seven members on that finance committee since this process started. Um, well, I can't guarantee everything has been caught in the ordinances because obviously this is going through our entire ordinances trying to find every place there was a fee mentioned and pulling it out and putting it into the to the schedule um, Appendix D. But I do believe we've had many many eyes and the thing is if we find one down the road and as there will be changes to the appendix, we will just uh, make those amendments later. These changes with Appendix D should make the fees and fines much easier to locate and change for the end users, departments, councils, administrations going forward, having them all in one location. I thank all that have worked on this over the past few years. Um, it may be nothing uh, to the public as they're not really going to notice it, but um, it's probably one of the, I believe it's one of the largest changes to our ordinances since I have served involving more entities than anything I can recall. So again, thank you to everyone involved. Um, I'm not going to get into everything that's past these because we have um, discussed this. These sort of have been in front of us before. They're in slightly different order. Um, we put them in order that would be happier with code. Um, but besides that, nothing really changed too much in these ordinance changes. The gist of it is everywhere in our ordinance where there were a dollar amount noted, it's being replaced with C Appendix D. And all those dollar amounts are going to be, um, and then there's a, the next paper coming up by Councilor Shade is actually introducing and putting Appendix D into our ordinances, which you can see all the spreadsheets at the back of your package. And um, so that is what this has been all about for four, four or five years. Um, so we can um, hopefully get a motion tonight and move it to a second reading, but however, if there is more discussion on it, so be it. Um, but that's my communication. Okay. I'm going to file the communication without objection and move on to the paper, council paper number 
826-3, an ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams regarding the fees and fines established in the City Code. Move to pass to a second reading and publish as a municipal bulletin. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Councilor Oleskowitz. I'd just like to continue on to what Councilor Bonus said and to thank him and members of the Finance Committee. This is my third trip around on the seat on Council, and this has been going on before I even had been here, and I had said on uh, public services twice, and we had changed the fees twice, so it's, I'm glad to see this finally come to an end, and thank you for everybody throughout the past three administrations that it's finally going to come to an end. Thank you. I'm looking forward to getting this uh, through myself. This is uh, a long great, time coming. Long time coming and a great accomplishment. And uh, thank you to the Finance Committee and then the members of all the other committees that were involved in this. Okay, so we have a motion to pass to a second reading and publish as required by law or post as we're going to post this as a municipal bulletin. Mm -hmm. uh, any further discussion? Hearing none. This is a roll call. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is a uh, motion to approve. Aye. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, all in favor? All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Motion passes. Okay. Council paper 11,826-4, a communication from Councillor Shade regarding ad addition of Appendix D entitled Fee and Fine Schedule to the Revised Ordinance. And I'm going to file the communication without objection since Councillor Shade is not here. Councillor Bona, are you prepared to speak on um, that? Actually, I'm going to let um, Councillor Fitz, if you don't mind, reading her communication no, not into at all. the record. Yep, you got um, it. I'm sorry I didn't prepare for this but no, that's fine uh but at that's least right. uh yep yep okay. oh gosh can you read that mostly okay forgive me the the font is not <laughs> it's tiny uh, <laughs> dear fellow counselors as has been brought to my to our attention by several constituents that there is a rat and oh this is the wrong thing no, well, yeah, not the rat sorry <laughs> <laughs> no rats don't no rat. oh my god that's all right hold on hold on hold on received. i got it right here thank there you, you. <laughs> all right this one's better yes Dear fellow councillors, in review of our city fines and fees, the Finance Committee, in agreement with our city solicitor, are proposing that we create a separate appendix in our city ordinances to hold all of our dollar amounts, to hold all of the dollar amounts of our fines and fees. This change will solve several issues. First, it allows us to update and change the fines and fees in a fair, easy manner in the future. Second, it lists all the fines and fees together, making it far more accessible for the public. Third, it removes the dollar amounts from the different ordinances sections that, that they are currently in and lists them all in one convenient location. The attached ordinance will create an Appendix D fine and fee schedule that will be attached to our city ordinances. They are currently, there are currently eight proposed sections that list fees by department and then non-criminal fines. We can be sure that taking the step will create much more efficient and transparent system for our city going forward. Thank you for your consideration of this matter. Sincerely, Ashley M. Shade. Okay. Councillor Bona, do you have anything to add to that? Um, I do know um, the city clerk, again, worked with Councillor Shade. And um, I'm not sure, was there anyone else you worked with just pulling up the old appendix, like putting this together, correct? Um, yeah, and sh like they, I gave um, Councillor Shade the email that we had from general code as well. Um, so, so we had outside assistance with, with putting this together. Um, and again, it's really adding that spreadsheet as another appendix. We have other appendix uh, in with our ordinances. Um, and these are, this is a spreadsheet that you have seen uh, for a few years. Some of the prices uh, on the fees and fines have changed slightly, very few. And the last uh, main change, which wasn't really changing numbers, but under public safety, um, we just moved the fines to the bottom instead of having them integrated and mixed with the fees and fines. So that's really the only main difference. Again, these can be changed. These are not set in stone forever. Um, but the idea is that we can go to one place and find these numbers. Thank you. 
Okay, moving on to council paper number 11,826-4, ordinance to amend the revised ordinances of the City of North Adams by adding Appendix D, entitled Fee and Fine Schedule. Loop to pass to a second reading and publish as a municipal bulletin. Okay. Second. We have motion and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> okay. Councilor Bona, I do have one uh, quick question. Under the city clerk's office, pawnbrokers, mm -hmm. is that still in place? I remember we took secondhand shops out of the out of the ordinance. We re we removed, we deleted that ordinance. Um, Pawn brokers are something different. They are. We don't have them, but they are something different. So, again, if that's something in the future we want to take out, but at this point, that is nothing that has been discussed or to be removed. Okay, thank you. Yep. And I do have a quick question for the mayor regarding this. Mm -hmm. On the city's website, when these changes are made, who is responsible for making sure that these changes are implemented? So when we get the final order, it all goes, it goes to all the department heads. We'll update all of our pages and reference back to the ordinance page. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we have a motion to pass to a second reading and publish as required by uh, our two municipal bulletin. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none. Good. <laughs> no, no, next time you can do that. <laughs> oh, true, true. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no. Jinxing it. Okay. <laughs> Council paper number 12,400, communication number 46 from Mayor Maxey recommending the reappointment of Lee A. Harrington. Um, Utta. Okay, to serve as a member of the North Adams Housing Authority Board for a term to expire July 1st, 2029. Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Yay. And we have no licenses tonight. Open forum. This is an opportunity for the public to speak to the council for two minutes on issues of municipal significance. Would anybody like to approach the mic and speak with us tonight? Okay, everybody's quiet tonight. Shh. Moving on, mayor's updates. Sure, first of all, I'd like to thank the council for your support with the compensation and classification plan as well as the budget. I truly appreciate all the dialogue that we've had and I look forward to another fiscal year with all of you. Um, biggest announcement tonight, um, we had a meeting, um, Councilor Morrow, William, and uh, Cody Chamberlain, and we're pleased to announce that we're kicking off our youth commission. And there will be a meeting on Monday, July 1st at 5.30 in Council Chambers. Even if you're not on the committee, we're looking for people to come and join the dialogue about the setup, programming, and things to come for the Youth Commission. So we had a great meeting. I, I, I'll let you decide that, but I felt it was a great meeting. Um, and I'm very excited about the team that's being assembled. So thank you, Councilor Morrow, for that. Um, other than that, we're closing out the fiscal year. Um, we will be um, in front of you on July 8th, hopefully with some transfers, um, as well as some things for the summer. Um, probably in August, early September, I'll be coming back for a presentation on the capital improvement plan. Um, and other than that, we're just trying to close this fiscal year out and move on to a new year. But I, again, I thank you all for your support. Thank you. Okay, committee reports and <laughs> minutes. Okay, seeing none. Liaison updates and counselor concerns. I have one. Okay, <coughs> Councilor Breen. Um, Mayor, I was wondering if you could give us an update on, um, I got a few calls on the, the Sons of Italy Bridge. I, I, I know it's, it's in the budget for FY27 repairs, but um, what I'm concerned about is What's the short term? Yeah, so we have two ish, two bridges there. The one that goes from the Sons of Italy to State Road, which we recently had to close because yes. it's in dire repair. 
um, and then the second bridge through Heritage Park from Heritage Park to um, the Sons of Italy. Um, today or yesterday, my days all merged together. Um, I believe MassDOT was out working with Tim on the Heritage Park Bridge. Um, we want to pave it, but there looks like there's some structural issues there, so that is yet to be determined. As far as the Sons of Italy Bridge, um, we may that may need to be closed permanently, um, but we haven't been able to get someone out to evaluate that full bridge because that's a private bridge. Um, so right now we're focused on getting um, Heritage Bridge patched or in a passable condition. It is safe, it is passable, but there's some really big potholes um, which have caused us to really look at the structure of it. Um, and they were just out this week, so either yesterday or today. Yeah, my, my concern is that the one you're talking about is a one-way bridge yep. so we were, that goes from the Heritage over to the, the Suns. Yep. Um, so we were, we're used as a an overflow parking yep um what's uh so we're going to be ch probably changing the signage on that and put a one lane bridge um but it is used for overflow we may even encourage people to park down on the other end of the park um it's something that kind of crept up on us when we were evaluating the other bridge um so there's more to follow on that i don't i didn't get a report from tim before this meeting okay is it possible to do parking on the pavement inside the park? no no Anything else? No. Council Bona. Uh, yes. Um, first one, uh, we have the Solid Sound Festival this weekend coming up. Is there anything we should be expecting any as as, as usual? Yeah, I mean, we're expecting close to 8,000 vi visitors. Um, we will be um, doing parking patrol throughout the area, um, specifically on Main Street, so there is parking for our businesses. Um, we're very excited to entertain our guests. Um, we're hoping for good weather, but it's really an, a business as usual kind of event. We pretty much have it down to a science. Um, we will be putting out no parking signs and marking off areas of no parking starting Thursday night. Um, the Center Street lot will be monitored and we will be marking off um, reserving spaces for those people who have parking permits as well as the people who um, have permits in St. Anthony's lot will encourage all those people to park under the bridge. Um, we are using City Hall for overflow parking for people who live in those areas. Um, certainly welcome to use our lot. Um, but our, our main focus is controlling Center Street and St. Anthony's. Um, Solid ground is still yep, going. Yep, ground is yep. still going strong. <clears throat> Um, we've been doing a lot of cleaning and getting ready, and we're very excited to entertain our guests this weekend. I think it should be noted during the budget meeting, um, it was brought up, but uh, uh, proceeds, I don't know if all of them or not, proceeds from solid ground do pay for a good portion of uh, the flowers and landscaping that happen downtown. So that's something we do benefit, uh, the city does benefit directly. Um, obviously on top of money we do make from the parking. Um, secondly, I just wanna say, sort of following, I might jinx it because I do have one more meeting, but. As uh, long as the fees and fines pass everything um, and we're finished with it this year, I will, um, uh, at the end of the year, ask to step down from the finance committee. So just put it out there for let the president know if uh, you're interested because I've stayed on that specifically to get through these fees and fines instead of handing it over to. I vote no on that. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have a vote. But, but um, no, it's time to pass the torch and, um, you know, but. Just, just putting it out there so counselors who may be interested know. Okay? And plus, it allows me not to back out. Well, I got public. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Councilor Bona. Okay, I have one thing. Uh, go ahead, <clears throat> Councilor Blackmore. Um, reminder that the Steeple Cats are in town. Um, they're also playing down at Wapakona Park a couple of times. If you want to go check them out there, we've got the fireworks coming up. It looks like that, that thermometer is not moving too fast, so please uh, make your donation. And we have some of the best fireworks around, and let's keep it. Um, concerts at the lake. We've got First Friday events. There's all kinds of things. If any, you know, people say there's nothing to do, but go to any municipal field and you see kids playing sports of some sort. We've got concerts at the lake. We've got things going in the downtown. Just get out and enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thank Councilor you. Fitch. Yeah, a couple things too. I received a note um, from a uh, contact at Mass MoCA that during this weekend of Solid Sound, uh, the galleries at MoCA will be open to the public still. Um, extended hours of 11 to 7 on Friday and Saturday from 10 to 5. Um, and outdoor exhibitions are only accessible to the festival pass holders. Um, they also said that, uh, I guess it's their seventh showing of Wilco's Sol Solid Sound Festival, and they're so psyched that it got sold out and that they're, you know, helping to contribute to the city. Um, what Lisa was just mentioning, sorry, Councillor Blackmore was just mentioning about events and everything. Uh, the city has sponsored and produced this Discover North Adams website and Facebook page and like social media content, which is just so great where you can go and find all of this stuff. Um, I think most everything is on there. And I think they do a good job of kind of grabbing what else is going on around town and republishing it and sharing it, including First Fridays. And I wanted to mention something about First Fridays. So uh, that is Friday, July 5th will be our, I don't know what it is, like, 57th or something first Friday event. First Fridays happen every single first Friday. There's something going on downtown every first Friday. This one, July 5th, will be closing down Holden Street to car traffic. We try to rotate different streets to kind of spread the love around town. And it'll be full with different food trucks and tables and chairs from the existing restaurants that are there, musical performances, vendors of different kinds too, as well as any kind of community table that wants to come down there. Anyone's welcome to come down there and participate. Um, so you can find out about that at on the North Adam Chamber of Commerce website, and also look up First Fridays on social media. Thank you. Hey, anybody else? Oh, Councilor Bono. Uh, through the chair and mayor, I don't know if you know the specifics on this. Did I see correctly that Jeff Tweedy from Wilco is doing something at the library? Yes. Um, so we were very excited. We've been trying to get him for years to make a, a public appearance at our library, and he will be there on Thursday. I believe it's 11 o'clock. It's 12. Maybe it's 12, noon. 11, noon. 11 o'clock, I gotta be somewhere else, so 12 o'clock. Um, but we're very excited he's taking time out of his schedule to do that for us. And that's free to the public. Yes, absolutely. I forgot just one part of that. Sorry about that. So this um, something that's new about this Wilco Festival is that the farmer's market doesn't need to move anywhere because the farmer's market is on Main Street now. And thank you so much to the administration for just making that a possibility. Previously, to my understanding, the farmer's market would always have to move from one of the parking lots onto a street or into a different parking lot somewhere to open up that parking for the festival parking. But I just think this is a magical combination. Thank you. So fa farmer's market every Saturday through the summer months right on Main Street. Cool stuff. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, and I, it, I like it being there. It's nice because you can walk downtown and everything's right there. And uh, very nice. Anyways, I have a couple of things. Uh, the Traffic Commission met on uh, Wednesday before last. Um, in addition to adding the McCann uh, school zone, the commission voted to remove the school zone at Kemp Park and is also going to be cleaning up a couple of ordinances. We have about a half a dozen things that will be uh, passed on to the council. When I receive those from the chair of the traffic commission, I will uh, present those to the, uh, to the full council. And one question to the mayor, cooling centers. Do we have any official cooling centers in the city? Because yep, we don't have any open right now. Um, last week we used City Hall, um, the Council on Aging, and the library. Okay. Um, nothing is open right now. We'll depict that depending on what the heat is. Um, we are very happy that the um, church on River Street, whose name just went right out of my head, um, they did an excellent job with the cooling center as well as the First Baptist Church. Um, so we usually open City Hall when it's open. Um, this year we had the luxury of using the skating rink, which we found that a lot of people went out and did some ice skating when it was really hot, which was cool. Um, no pun intended. Um, so right now um, we still have our water cooler here, but um, there's no like sudden push for it today. Okay. But last week we did have those cooling centers open. We did. We did indeed. 90 plus degree temperatures. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Correspondence. All right. A motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion. Meeting adjourned.